What's going on YouTube? King Dennis here with a pepper taste review. Uh, today is July 18th, 2000. July 17th, 2015. Um, on tonight's menu is uh, yellow bubble gum, bubble gum uh, grown out by uh, Stephen Kennedy, Stephen Kennedy out in uh, Southern California. Uh, South Carolina. Wow, I'm off, I'm off today. Um, anyway, <clears throat> he sent me these uh, pods. Uh, we all know there's the red, and uh, some are getting the, the brown slash chocolate. Um, the orange last year was a, a bust, as most people's turned uh, red. Um, but here it is. This is the yellow bubblegum seven pod now if you can see it but it does bleed yellow um and there's a little bit of bleeding on, on the the stem as well but this is the bubblegum seven pot yellow it's a fairly large pod compared to the uh the red um i've had this for maybe at least nine days and as I slice open the pod typical chin and smell but this is how the pepper looks like show you the calyx. Where is the camera? Oh, right here. Anyway. A little pretty smell to it. Almost citrusy. So I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Kind of sweet taste to it. Initial heat, maybe a five. It went from tongue straight to the throat, and it's starting to creep up a little bit and build up. So far lately with these bubble gums, I know you guys see me eating like small pieces of peppers, but I've eaten small pieces of pepper and it's lit me up before. So I would say this one is a, a nice tolerable burn. Uh, I don't know his uh, seed source, but it's, it's, it's good. It's nice and, and citrusy. Um, Isn't not building up anymore. It's pretty much actually peaked and I'm about to go down. The crunchiness of it, the, the wall is really thick. So um, if you send these out to people, it should last a pretty good long time because um, really thick walled, almost kind of like a Scotch bonnet like. Um, initial taste had a little citrus and like bell pepper kind of taste um, but then the heat, the heat kicks in um, and so yeah I mean I'm not suffering I'm, I'm not um, I'm not getting that much throat burn anymore or to the point where you guys have seen me in the videos as far as uh, dying and I can't breathe but really good tasting pepper Yeah, I'll eat a bigger piece, closer to the... Oh. 
went up my nose a little bit. I mean, same thing. A little bit of the mouth. And then as you swallow it, it starts to head down to the throat. Nothing violent. Um, this would go great on some fish, some fish tacos. Um, so, with heat, I would say it's a good five. Ve uh, well, yeah, a little bit more numbness on the tongue now, but yeah, I'd say five. As far as flavor, I'd give it an eight. Um, again, no expert. I don't eat whole pods. I don't eat placenta. I know my limits. So, thank you guys for watching. If you want, you can find him on thp the hot pepper dot com. Uh, his name is uh, ignite i g n i t e on the hot pepper dot com. Uh, on Facebook, Stephen Canada, um, the Pepper Geek uh, is his Facebook site. Thank you to also the Lucky Dog Hot Sauce Scott uh, for this awesome glass. And I'm drinking a Rebel IPA tonight. Beautiful night in Southern California. Um, thank you. Subscribe, like, comment, troll. I don't care. If, if you guys troll me, um, I must have at least caught your attention for you to come to my to my page. So, But yeah, beer doesn't help it cool down at all. actually makes it uh, wake up again. Alright guys, take it easy. Yellow bubble gum. I'm going to grow a bunch of these. Buy them from Stefan. Deuce.